They're icing the cupcakes, a colorful, messy, tasty way of getting people mingling and chatting at Ignite Waterloo, an unusual unconference. The real event is the 16 speakers sharing things close to their hearts, says organizer Joseph Fung. Ignite, and Ignite Waterloo specifically, is a celebration of geek culture. Um, our slogan is enlighten us, but do it quickly. This is a series of five minute presentations. Speakers get 20 slides that auto advance every 15 seconds. And it's on a huge range of very geeky, interesting topics from Rubik's Cubes to treating gunshot wounds. Aiden Seaman explains the secrets of the Rubik's Cube. I got my first Rubik's Cube for Christmas back in 2007 and played with it obsessively for a year until I got really good at it. It's a celebration of what you're passionate about. Now there's more than one way to solve a Rubik's Cube. A couple of the common methods are the Petrus method, which starts with the corner and then propagates outward, or the Friedrich method, which starts with the bottom and then uh, goes upwards layer by layer. It's not technology, it's not math. Both of these methods are used in speed cubing, but the technique that I use is not a speed cubing method. 90 seconds is actually really slow for solving a cube. It's the idea of becoming incredibly passionate and focused. David Estill waxes poetic about solar energy. But the critics declare the sun isn't always there, and I'll admit that they're right, that we need power at night. So I propose a solution. We can cut down on pollution. If when we've got the sun shines hot, we save the cold that we've got, we can burn it at other times, for example, at nighttime. And this way we can store power during daylight hours when we're being powered by the sunshine. Okay, first step, begin. Um, okay, uh, first step done, cross on the bottom. Jason Sim explores the reality of second life. And when people ask, what is the point of second life? And I was like, well, what's the point of real life? And it's like, you know, I don't know. You know, people make their own meaning on second life. So in this instance, you know, some people choose to shoot lasers out of their eyes. I choose to put on a chili pepper t-shirt and pick up a glass of champagne. Second step begin. Quarter done. Half done. Three quarters done. Done. Engineer John Fishbane introduces real Africa. But in fairness, when I was in Africa, that's not really the whole picture. Yes, there's poverty and despair in Africa, but there's also poverty and despair in Canada as well. And one thing that there is in Africa that there's also in Canada is hope and ambition. Third step, begin. Quarter done. Half done. Three quarters done. Done. Dr. Matt Frenot is practical about his research on high altitude medicine. This is Mount Everest, a height of uh, 8,800 meters. I became interested in the topic because I've got some friends that climb and they've convinced me to do it. And I just wanted to know uh, exactly what was happening when I was dying on the peak of some mountain. <laughs> so far, uh, first two layers complete. Now the fourth step. Done. Any interest that you get so passionate about that you have a wealth of information that you'd love to share with the world that you can condense to five minutes of very passionate discourse. The fifth step. Um, okay. Okay. Simon Clark shares the joy of hacking the hood. The important thing here is to get to know your neighbors, start doing things together. You change your community and it will change you and you're never going to look back. Jacqueline Konzelman examines the process of teaching and learning. This is something that I'm not afraid to admit I have done many times in the past, and that is flat out falling asleep in my classes, much to my professor's remiss. Um, but nonetheless, it's not because I'm not interested in the subject. It's because, you know, professors aren't up there engaging with their students. They're not using all the tools that are currently available to them to actually be able to connect with students. Sixth step. Ignite Waterloo. People with purpose sharing their passion. We're looking to do three a year, so you should see our next one coming up in spring next year. And seventh step. Done, and there you have it. So we're <laughs>